Hey guys, so I spoke here from the Vintage Runner. Ooh, so I am on my way to Paxton Hill Farm. I'm trying out a new uh, dashboard thingy. It will definitely make using my GPS a lot easier because I don't have to like look down. But, of course, it's also face height. Uh, the one thing I will say I'm not really a fan of is that it's all this bouncing around it's doing. But I guess it's because of the car, so. Hopefully it doesn't make anybody sick. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I'm off to Paxton Hill Farm. I cannot wait. I am looking forward to, to it. Um, I can't, most importantly, I'm looking forward to, to the shopping. So anyway, I'm gonna get some gas first and then I'm gonna head on up. Uh, it's up past, it's in New Hope, but it's a little bit farther up than I've been. So it'll be fine. But uh, I'm always eager to find and try out some new places. So I can't wait to see it. So anyway guys, I will check in with you later. Okay guys, so I'm here uh, at the farm. The, okay, so if you ever come here, the address you need to go to is 3665 Paxton Hill Road. Uh, the thing is that my GPS was wrong. It was taking me somewhere else, uh, but the entrance is off Comfort Road. So I got here in the end and that's fine. Oh, but man, I tell you what, this is beautiful. I love this approach. Uh, you know, I'm not a fan necessarily of grasses, but I actually have to say, I kind of like the way they did that though. Um, but, oh my gosh, I can't wait. I'm so excited to be here. Uh, so I'm parking my car. And there's a lot of people here. It means I'm, it's going to be a good time. So, um... I have to say, I was truly <laughs> coming up here. I was a little bit nervous because some of these roads are really, really, really tight. <laughs> and um, they're almost like one way. So uh, that was some, a slightly nerve wracking experience. So, but at the end of the day, I got here and that's all that matters. So, and let me not hit the stray. So I'm headed on in. Look at this. This is beautiful. And those are all the perennials and stuff over there. Oh my god. Okay. Looks like this over here is the entrance to the garden. Okay. I love this wooded path. Of grasses right here. You see some hydrangeas over there. Lots of hot stuff. Oh, I see a frog. So let's see. Garden one is the shade garden. I think this is to the side. Okay, this is pretty. Some hellebore here, pasta, about the stone benches, green and white variegated. Ooh, this looks like a four season statue over here. It is. I think that might be summer.
There are a lot of places to sit and just read and or pack a lunch. This is so pretty. I don't know how far this goes back. There's all these little side roads. I think that goes back to the shade garden. Oh, okay. And come back here. And this is the end. So I'm going to go back and go down to another finger. This is really pretty. Um, I'm not even sure. I mean, look, look at this, guys. Um, yeah, crepe myrtle. Okay, so I guess their private residence is here. I like how they did that though. Oh, those are some gorgeous flocks. Huh. Okay, let's go to the next section. According to this map, let's see where we are. We are, okay, see, if you see where number three is, we're off that thing. So now let's go down to where six is, and six is the, the temple garden. So guys, this is the temple garden. Look at this. Oh, this is beautiful. And I love those urns. Um, oh. You know, are these like sphinxes? They look like Egyptian pharaohs. So they've kind of got like a parterre look going. I don't know if these are boxwood or if it is, it's not a type I'm familiar with. They've got hydrangeas in the center. Those are pretty. Let's check out the pharaohs over here. Oh, these are sphinxes. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. I never thought of. I should find some sphinxes. Let's see. Uh, this right here. I'm bad with trees, but I don't know that. I don't think it's. Is it hornbeam? Maybe it looks like hornbeam. Uh, I know somebody is gonna correct me if I'm wrong. like this little circle. I like the Grecian statues and art here. Stepping into the thing. Wow, that's such the water so cool. I wonder what they put in it. Okay, yeah, they've got a hedge, some roses behind it. Even over here. So let's see. Oh, this is still part of it. Okay. Oh, this is a little bit more. Wildernessy. Nothing wrong with the wilderness, though. Ooh. I'm on the other side of the round thing. I wonder who she is. I'll have to ask them. I need to add some Egyptian statues. To my garden now. Who cares for Greek classical forms when you could have 
Egyptian statues. And I think that's private because it says stop. Okay, I think this way is going to mine, which is the amphitheater. Ooh, there's two paths. One goes low and one goes high. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. But I'm gonna take a picture with that circle doorway. Okay, guys, this is the amphitheater. This is nice. Um, so to all of my gardening friends who came this summer, I think next time y'all come, we're gonna come here. These little like gnome seats. That is so cute. <laughs> and there's a statue over there. I need to find some more whimsical things to go in my garden. I think this is the bog garden or something like that, or marsh garden. Hang on, let me look at the. I'll put the. I'll put the title. Okay guys, <laughs> they have a rope bridge. Oh my goodness, how much fun is this? Okay, let's see if I can do it. Ooh! Lobelia down there. Oh, and some hibiscus and a bunch of catkins. Okay, so this is the swamp garden. Uh, this, I ran into some people. They were lost. The guy was like, if you know where we are, good luck to you. I said, yeah, I think we're in the swamp garden. <laughs> he was like, oh. <laughs> he said, wow, look at you. They were really, they really were lost. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. I can see how you end up lost around here, though. Okay, that's a service road. Oh, man. You know, they have some very interesting sculptures around here. Oh, y'all, look at all this Japanese anemone. Oh, I love that. Oh, I, that's beautiful. And look how tall it is. Yeah, so, you know... I want to say it looks like September charm. See, they say four feet, but these are way taller than four feet. These woodlands are so beautiful. I mean, thankfully, it's not a hot day. Oh, I like that. Is that, is that Buddha over there? Or Confucius? I hear water. Oh my gosh, look at the size of these hostas. Oh, and look at that. Look at these. They're massive. They're like shrubs. Holy cow. Okay, so this is the bridge garden, and this is the bridge. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh, 
I think there's another bridge farther down. A little bit right here, and then we come from the bridge garden. Oh, I think that's the maze garden. Okay, I can't wait to see that. Where does that go? Oh my gosh, this is so wonderful. Oh, there's more than one bridge. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is so beautiful. I need a picture. Okay guys, this is the maze garden. I've always dreamed of being, having enough space to do a maze garden. So let's see. Oh wow, so I'm gonna put it on time lapse. Okay guys, so I'm in this maze. I feel like I'm in Harry Potter, you know, like the Goblet of Fire where they had to find, they had to get to the center and tap the thing. That's what I'm trying to do. So this is really cool. It's like on, oh, wait a minute. I'm back to where I came. This can't be right. I know where, All right, let me go back the, the other way. Um, so, the maze is kind of, is tiered. So towards the center, it's kind of like rising. So it's really, really cool. I mean, this is, uh, whoever did this is very creative. I mean, you know, I, I've always wanted to do a maze, but this person actually did it. I mean, I don't have enough space to do this, but oh man, boy, would I love to do something like this. I'm not really sure what the tree, what type of hedge they use. It seems more to be, deciduous but let me go back the other way and hope I can find the center okay pretty I feel like I'm back to where I started guys sort of you know there may have been a turn off later on you know I think I see a turn off up there so let me try going this way Okay guys, I stopped for a water break. I'm literally walking around in circles here. Uh, I have no idea where the center of this maze is. I'm gonna have to look, I'm gonna look at the map. I don't think the map is very clear. I feel like I missed, I feel like I missed a cutoff somewhere. <laughs> it's crazy. Let me just see if I can put the camera around. So this is, this is it. So I think I came in, where is that camera? Came in. Uh, let's see. You know, maybe if I could retrace my check for the stuff. So if I go in straight. Okay. 
Okay, let me get some water and then try this again. Okay, guys, so I'm at the entrance where the, the garden center is. So let me see. So if I walk in, um, go there. Okay, so don't want to go there. So I'm going to go up here and then to the right, I think. Okay, so I'm turning the map as I'm doing it, okay? <gasps> Frustration is hunting. Hold on a second. Hey guys, I'm in the center. I cheated. I cheated. I saw a break in the hedge and I just went through it. I don't know, maybe that was the opening. Um, but, yeah. So, let me see if I can figure out what I did wrong. Because I, I'm so turned around in here. Once you get into this, like more of a center, it becomes a spiral. And so I'm sitting in this little grotto, but I really, like I saw, I don't know, I don't know. Like I said, I saw a small opening and that's what I went through because that was like the only opening I saw. <laughs> and then I saw another opening and I went through. So I feel like I cheated, but I don't know. Maybe I really did just stumble up on it. And maybe it's just, maybe it's just that I took something that, let's put it this way, I took an opening that didn't look very obvious. That makes sense. So well, let me have a sip of water and then go back. Okay guys, I'm out. I see what I did wrong. So yeah, that was an opening. So. What it was is that there was, I was paying attention to this one particular flower. And so I kept thinking that I was passing the same flower and I wasn't. <laughs> um, Cause it was like on the curve. So I kept like turning back. And anyway, I realized that there was more than one flower on each level. So I was actually going in the right direction. So um, yeah, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, there was an opening. It's just that, like I said, I thought I was, I guess where I came in, I think I entered the circle, that spiral on the other side. And like I said, it was like this one bit of a flower that I was keeping track of. So I thought I was walking around in circles all this time and I really wasn't. So uh, I retraced my steps, came out. Um, I see where I, where I came in, so. Uh, so, for all my Instagram peeps, if y'all come next year, we won't get lost. I know exactly where I'm going and that sort of thing. But yeah, there was a lot of openings and hedges, so it was just, it was weird. But yeah, no, no cheating here. I thought I cheated, but no, I didn't cheat. I just stumbled on the right thing, that's all. So anyway, I'm going to go back because I want to take a picture in front of that hobbit circle. Um, I ran into this man and woman he's like oh are you lost i'm like yeah i've been in here for like 40 minutes <laughs> so i'm sitting in the bridge garden this is the view it's very peaceful and relaxing oh it's a lovely vista Now it's time to go shopping. But you know what, I never did see where that little hill went, so I'm gonna walk back that way.
peacock. A white peacock. I thought I was imagining things. 